Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to share this uh, file. It's the full download and the full record of Ed Reed. Ed Reed, who isn't officially hired as the head coach, even mentioned that at Bethune-Cookman, but he's already on campus working. Why, after three weeks almost, he's not he doesn't have a contract is part of the administrative issue that is going on, that things that should be resolved, but he's uh, pointing out the facilities in this space. And let's just take the time to have a watch and have a listen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, make sure you comment below. Really appreciate uh, our community. Um, we're growing. We're strong. And um, let's have a listen. One change around here. You saw the front of the building. Terrible. This the back of the building. They working on the front of the building. This the same people said, we're going to help you build what you want. How I'm going to believe you, man? Yeah. How I'm going to believe them? Didn't I tell you I don't trust nobody? I'm coming over giving them the same passion and they smiling and laughing in my face. This shit ain't funny. We're going to ride through the fence that these, they ain't fixed the fence. We about to ride through this fence. This ain't even football side. This ain't even the football side. And y'all talking about Madden at my uncle Prime. Y'all mad at Dion, mad at Prime. This shit is every HBCU. Bro, we riding through the fence. This is track, bro. This is track. This is what they practice on. It's a straightaway. This is in a mirror field. You can't practice on this. These kids got this to work with. Trash. Yeah, I'm showing it. At this point, I got to show this shit. I'm not even the head coach. Congratulations. Man, I should go my ass home. I said I should. I ain't. It ain't happening. Because of that lady right there. Because of her right there. Miss Mary, you see her with the cane? Coach Kane. That's what you call me. Coach Kane is who I am. Don't cry. Do something. Y'all see these buildings right here? You see these buildings right here? Y'all see these buildings right here? This corner? Y'all see this right here? This here? This shit is abandoned right here. They're hoarding trash in this shit. All this right here is trash. From this corner... All the way right here is trash. You understand me? Man, mutt your ass off here, man. What you talking about? I ain't mutt nobody. I'm trying to fix shit. What you doing? I told you somebody ain't going to like it, bro. I told you somebody wasn't going to like it. Do something about it, man. Come help us clean this shit up. I could have been mutting and showing shit. I chose not to. But now I'm out here walking with the football team, picking up trash. But I'm mutting us. Man, get out of here, man. I should leave. I'm not even under contract doing this. I'm mutting us. Man, get out of here, man. They mutt me. These motherfuckers ain't even clean my goddamn office when I got here. I'm mutting y'all. Get your ass, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. All this shit here was trash in front of me. Who you think got this shit cleared out? That building right there got trash in it. It's fucking trash. What are you talking about? You need no goddamn donors to come out and help out because people just want money. That's why, I don't, that's why I don't fuck with social network. Fuck out of here, man. 
you know, it's just so powerful to to see it. You know, you can't, it's like one of those things, we can't deny these charges. We can't like to believe that it's something else when you're looking at it and we're saying, well, HBCUs are this, they're that. They're important. And if something's important, you got to invest in it. You got to hold people accountable um, who are supposed to be accountable to the people for, for providing a high quality education for um, for Americans and specifically for black Americans. Uh, Ed Reed, Ed Coach Kane Reed um, pointed out quite clearly, you know, he's trying to uphold the level of excellence that Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune uh, was pushing for when she created the school. And we can't push past that and we can't pretend to gloss over it like it's not important. I think that is what's detrimental to the legacy. Uh, and he said it quite clearly. If you believe in what he's saying, come with him and put in the work. Don't just talk about it. Put in the work. Show and prove. Show and prove. I've seen some um, some things going online talking about uh, that, that people are being galvanized to take action, to uh move toward the state for the redress to ask the questions, why are HBCUs being underfunded? Uh, specifically when we look at and we think about the state HBCUs, like FAMU is almost $2 billion underfunded uh, based on the population, uh, the student population based on the size, based on um, their academics almost two billion over time uh underfunded as compared to um as compared to uh PWIs and stuff like this. So get involved. Don't just say, oh they're great, leave them as it is. No, do more. Do something. There's always something to be can that can be done. And and that's what Ed Reed he didn't just say I want to make uh a HBCU better. I don't want to just do that. He actually went to do it. You know, yes, he was working at uh, University of Miami. Yes, he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, he probably doesn't even have to work another day in his life. But he was willing to take a chance to go back to do something. And that's what I want to leave you guys with. Let's all band together. Let's do something. Let me know what you think are different ways that you're going to do something um, in the comments below. And um, I really appreciate all the support. Keep it coming. We're on the road to 1,000. Um, let's keep pushing, y'all. i catch y'all on the flip easy. Peace. <laughs>